Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. I just fucked up and recorded an entire episode without... I'm just kidding, it wasn't an episode, it was just the intro. Um, I took a shot and missed. Kind of like somebody else in the news recently. And every time he tried to procreate unsuccessfully. I didn't miss... It just didn't swim or something. I don't know. (laughs) And I've never tried. I just haven't not tried. Anyways, so as you can guess, um, we're late to the party. A little bit. Just a little bit late to the party. Would you say? Yes, no, maybe. Isn't that how we always are, though? No. We were the first ones to report on Glover. One of the first ones on pretty much everything we have the opportunity to. We just don't talk about the things that we don't, we're not the first ones to. That we don't care about. That too. I mean, we didn't care about Glover, but we knew people were going to be searching for it. So, anyways, we're going to talk today about the situation, because I'm sure the words are going to be really touchy-feely. The situation? Yeah. So we've had. I've Isn't been, that like trademarked by that guy from? Uh, doesn't you can't Jersey Shore or no, something like that? No, it's when you trademark or copyright or whatever certain phrases or words that were already in common dictionary or whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it. Um, you can only do so in its explicit specific use case. So, Kleenex obviously is a brand is a registered trademark, but people just call them call all tissues Kleenex. But for example, you can't... I've always called it tissue. I've Ohio never, State. I've never called it Ohio Kleenex. State tried to trademark or copyright one of the two, I don't remember, uh, the word the last year. Why? Because they like to say the Ohio State University. But so nobody the, even believes that Ohio exists. Exactly. So, but, again, why? But it's only for that specific use case. It's for their merchandise branding. Nothing the. else. Yeah, nothing else. We can still say the word. It doesn't apply. So the I math can say, is not mathing for me. I can say the situation. I just can't go and call myself the situation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so, carry on with your tangent. So, well, you're the one that took us off on this? So, um, yeah, Saturday, I believe it was, we were doing stuff together with the family and it was Saturday night after I'd gone to bed. No, it happened during the day. What? It happened at like 3 PM or 4 PM, something like that. Oh, I woke up to it the next morning. No, I knew about it around when it happened. But the thing was, I, I know exactly where it was. I was outside with the dogs Okay. and I opened my phone and people were talking about a shooting. Oh, and, okay. Sorry. But He's they didn't, on social media. I'm not. So that's why I'm super delayed in this. But there were no images, memes, or any other context. Okay. So, so I ignored like it because it could have. South side of Chicago, probably. Yeah. yeah. It could have okay. It could have been any other one ever. Okay. And so I closed out of it, whatever. I opened it back up and uh, Zachary Hurd, um, who I know from Drinking Bros, um, he posted something and I was like, what are you guys talking about? And he's like, how could you miss it being on social media? And I was like, uh, doing stuff with the family with my phone in my pocket, like not Mm -hmm. staring at it and scrolling. Right. Like a father figure is supposed to do. I love how you looked at the camera for that (laughs) one. Talking to all the other. Yeah. uh, Yeah. So, didn't know the context and then sends back a still image of the, you know, the blood and him raising up his fist. And I was like, mm. what? Okay. Like, no, no, that couldn't have happened. Right. No, there's no way. Nope. Sure enough. All right, Andrew, Open give up. your expert opinion. Hold on. We haven't made it there yet. Give it a second. Give it a second. Let it, let it. Yeah. Let it marinate. Yeah. <laughs> so now that everybody has had an opportunity to read a an expert opinion mm-hmm. and all of this, right? When I saw the video that I saw first, which I believe 
everybody probably saw them in a different order depending on when they saw the story. The I first, haven't clicked on a single video. The first one that I saw was the video of the uh, sniper that was behind Trump facing out over that field towards that building, that office building. Okay. And it was him. It was them sitting there with his spotter. And then he took a shot and then he like looked up and then he like took another shot or two and people were screaming and running and moving and everything like that. So I didn't know where he was, what was going on, right. obviously. So the experts came out with their Google Maps, their sophisticated policing technology, or as a donut operator loves to use Microsoft Paint to draw stuff. He calls it his like exclusive software proprietary software are you rubbing your belly like you're pregnant no i'm just it's the armrest they just are it's weird i either do this or i sit like i don't know it's weird he's so, seven and a half months pregnant yeah, guys yeah please send him baby shower gifts so when i finally saw the pictures good the google maps the overhead images um i kind of got an idea of you know what they were doing where they were posted up at okay and my first question was when everybody was like how did he get on the roof was it's a privately owned business, right? So did Secret Service, police, anybody even go over there and say, hey, can we go up on your roof? Because I'm sure the business has the opportunity, but probably wouldn't to say no. Okay. That would have been the only acceptable excuse as to why they weren't up there. Okay. They probably could have forced it anyways. If you don't do this, we're going to send... they. <laughs> Obviously. Wasn't it the SWAT staging area or something like that? I don't. I don't know. I haven't seen that part. That came I know out like they were talking on about Monday. I believe they said all the excuses have come out. The director said that, she, she, and apparently she used to work for Pepsi, so she obviously the director like, of what of the Secret Service. Okay, so she has of all the Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm just picturing Highly from qualified. like what three years ago that guy in the convenience store throwing the twisted tea at the guy. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just picturing Secret Service throwing a Pepsi at this yeah. guy. <laughs> so, Sorry. Anyways, now I'm on the Tangent Express. So, and I don't even know, and I don't know if they'll ever even release this. I don't even know how many counter snipers they had. Okay. Because in the videos, you only see either two or four. There's, there's a couple different angles of the two that are on there, but the, the biggest excuse that the woman made was that the, the slope of the roof was dangerous. Mm. And people have memed the fuck out of that. I showed you the one earlier, the, the wheelchair ramp. Install a wheelchair ramp in front of your house <laughs> and Secret Service can't get in. Okay. It's like, you know the, that cows, do you know how they prevent them from crossing roads? No. They put in steel grates. Like drain grates, like the bridge has. Okay. That's all they do. They don't even need a fence there. The cows are too afraid to walk on it. I mean, I could see that. If I had hooves, I wouldn't want to walk it, on a grate either. It's not even, I don't even know that it's about hooves. It's just, they look at it and they're like, oh, don't want to step on it. And that's all it takes. Yeah. So. It's a bad time. Yeah. But yeah, just put a, put in a wheelchair ramp. At every door, okay. and you're safe. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, I haven't seen this yet. Somebody, I know somebody has to have done a "Don't Tread on Me." It had, it had. That's the perfect one. That's the perfect one. Okay. Wheelchair ramp. Don't tread on me. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um. So yeah, that was one of the best ones, or one of the most recent ones that I saw. But so going back to talking about the logistics and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Um. Everybody's talked about how at 150 yards, blah, 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 he, Trump should have been dead. Everybody who said that is either, one, lying to you, or two, has never shot a rifle in their life. Okay. Even if you're a perfect marksman, right? There's a lot to take into account. Yeah. Wind. Well, okay, at, at 150, not so much, okay. but... But maybe. We don't even Again, know what the weather was like there. Never shot before. Okay. So I'm just, as an outsider. So so when you go to the range, mm -hmm. right, to group and zero, how many times have you looked at 
How Why many are times? you talking to me like when but I go I'm to talking, the rage? No, 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 I'm talking to the audience. I'm talking in okay. general. So you've seen pictures of people's targets. Your friends have posted them. You've seen them on internet. You have. You've seen them in movies and TV shows. Okay, movies, sure. How many times have you ever seen in that target that every bullet went through one singular hole? Next to zero. Exactly. Nobody's a perfect shot. Even the best of the best are not perfect. Okay. He might have had a good group in zero, but could you imagine the fucking nerves knowing that you are going to die? Like there's, you're not getting away. Right. But imagine the nerves that you have to have and you're trying not to come up too high on that ridge line. It's that big dick energy that he said he had. Sure, whatever. <laughs> But come, when, you've come, got, come back. when you've got a 10 inch pistol in your pants, come, then, uh... come back, come back to that for a second. <laughs> that's, that's the go-to, um, like shit talk point that <laughs> anti two a people have. Oh, well you have so many guns. You must have a small dick. So every people have been selling shirts or like, you know, where they're, where they're carrying or whatever. And they're like, it's a picture of a gun that says, quit thinking about my dick. What? Because that's the first thing they jump to. Oh, you have a gun. You must have a small dick. I've literally never thought that in my entire life. I mean, we know it's true about squatted trucks. <laughs> but <laughs> No, at that point, they have an any penis. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, at the very minimum, okay. and, and I've actually, so I've talked to some of my buddies that were in special operations, mm-hmm. and... I apparently was the first one to bring up, like, did they even ask for permission? But apparently they did. They were in the building. They just weren't on the building. Which brings up even more questions. If they were in the building Mm -hmm. and or around the building, Mm -hmm. how the fuck did he sneak up? Didn't he use a ladder or something? So, okay. So somebody else pointed out a couple things about the ladder, the ladder situation. What, like pretending to be a worker or something like I don't they wouldn't, get it they wouldn't like, leave if security's there they right, i don't get it like how does the ladder bypass but one of one of two things has to happen right okay either from wherever he parked mm-hmm. wherever you know he ubered there with a ladder no right i'm just so I'm wherever just saying random shit wherever he parked he had to carry the ladder right. or <laughs> no, he had the ladder stored there waiting or because and the the news keeps changing Right, or right. Secret Service provided had, the ladder for him. No, no, they they think <laughs> there there is a ladder. There's like a ten or twelve foot ladder. There's no way you're hiking a ten or twelve foot ladder through wherever right. farmland. Nobody sees you. <laughs> farmland. Yeah. <laughs> so he's he either carried his own ladder, parked close enough, got close enough somehow, or yeah. he used a ladder that they used to inspect the roof that was already there. Because in one of the pictures, one of the aerial pictures. There is a ladder, but nobody has been able to determine if the ladder was already there, if the Secret Service and or police had put it there to get on the roof and he never took it, it down. He set ahead of time. Possibly. Duh. Yeah. A lot of planning goes into, you know, an assassination attempt. They had, they had seen him three hours prior mm-hmm. with a rangefinder. Oh, my God. Yeah. So he knew his shot distance. He had already been identified. And say his name? Uh, No. Because for one, I don't know it. But two, he can get fucked. Oh. <laughs> this is like... We're not here to make another retard famous. Well, no. Isn't that what it kind of sounds like? I don't know. I I've, think so. It's like something Cooks or Crooks or something. I don't know. He's got three names. And his... His high school picture that they're using is hilarious. <laughs> so the thing that I find funniest about that fucking dweeb, you know, picture mm-hmm. with all of his acne and everything else is the exact same type of image mm-hmm. is used when somebody commits a crime. Like when parents are like, they wouldn't, he would never do anything. He was such an innocent child. And they always use like the yearbook photo. Right. And they're trying to do the same thing. With an attempted assassin. It's fucking weird. They're not saying that he didn't do anything wrong. I mean, some people are. They're, mm. literally, 
There are literally in, no. There, no, I think it's. Look at him. No, there, he's obviously been cooking this for a while. Yeah, sure. I don't know. They're, they've come that's out, what they've like said, he he got denied from uh, the rifle cl- club at school, and they said that he was the worst shot, <laughs> and that he like tried two or three shots and was instantly told no or something because he was so far <laughs> off. Look, that, look, I'm an expert, okay? Because okay. I qualified expert. Yes. On yes. on an M16 and basic training 17 okay. years ago. Okay. <laughs> to be clear, expert is 37 out of 40. Means okay. I could miss three times. Well, he missed a hundred percent of the yeah. time. Well, no, he killed somebody in the stands, a firefighter. Okay, he he missed his target a hundred percent of the time. Yeah, both trying to get into rifle club, which is what I was really talking uh, about. I was making a joke though about base training. Okay. There there was a shirt that a company that I won't name because I don't like them anymore. Um, they used to have a shirt that was uh, not everybody's war stories ended in high school, which is funny. But it was joking on the fact that these guys only talk about what happened in basic training. So even though you're not picking up on the joke, people watching this are p- potentially picking Your up on the Your audience joke. is picking up on it. Yeah. Okay. So, But your wife is not. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Expert marksman. That's one of the badges that Cash has. Expert marksman on uh, pistol and rifle with no optics. And the uh, qual range is up to 300 yards. So you have, I think it's two, maybe three targets at 300 that pop up. So it's not like it's unreasonable for somebody to hit a person at 150 yards. Okay. I mean, as a matter of fact, that would be a target that you would pretty much expect. Yeah. 150, 200, like again, he got denied getting into rifle club yeah. for being a terrible he would, shot. He would have been denied graduating basic training or boot camp as well. I'm sure he would. Uh yeah. The whole the whole thing is nuts. It's, it is. He he had to have either had Somebody helping him, which they there there's people speculating something about Iran. What? Yeah. Okay. You know all because now all of a sudden we've had intel for weeks about Iran's plot, and actually somebody else showed up at the Republican National Convention. Which, speaking of that, putting Arizona no. in the closet. What? Oh, there's a whole thing that I've been following for a while, but. All everybody from Arizona basically got put in a closet because everybody hates them and they're all infighting. And actually, no, we no. talked about the Steve Slatton the, like, thing. The CEO of Grinder said it was like a cesspool. To map pull it up on the app. That, that, <laughs> that pulling it up and because you can see like on Grinder, it's apparently so anonymous. Like you don't have to put pictures or anything. You can put literally like just here for fun down for just today like whatever like as your name or whatever and it's by feet everybody was zero feet away from this person in the Republican grinders grinders all gay right yeah 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 I want to ask it's all like anonymous hookup I'm gonna ask ask Antoine because he's always talking in the bathroom at the Republican convention (laughs) how come I can't find him so there's been a thing. This has happened on uh, Twitter before. I haven't seen this happen on Facebook, but there's been time. There's been times on Twitter when you'll get um, like search restricted. Okay. And it's everybody shadow ban. It kind of is. Okay. Because unless you have their profile link or you know exactly how to spell out their username, you okay. can't find them. That's weird. And. I just I can't find him on Facebook, and I he just commented on something earlier, so I'll have to pull up a um, notification. Are you saying you were gonna ask him about Grinder? Yeah, he talks about it all the time. Why? Because he's gay. No, no, no. I mean, like, like fun escapades, or like, wow, this really shitty thing happened. Like, what? Like, I don't know, a little give bit. Give me of, like context. A little bit of everything. I. Like, it's not, I don't usually read too much detail into it, but he's always got something. Like, I met this guy and blah, 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 or 
why would somebody post this on there? Like there's, there's just always, there's always a story, always a story about it. So I was just going to ask him. I'm sure there is. Ironically, uh, Nick, one of her, he was our realtor. Mm-hmm. Um, he was only ever on Twitter. Uh, no, I started to say Twitter, Tinder, not Grinder, because it was all married dudes who were on Grinder in our neighborhood. And he wanted nothing to do with that. So he like deactivated his Grinder account and went to Tinder. So that way, like, I guess it's, it's a little bit more, um, it's less anonymous on Tinder. Like you're, you obviously still have to have like an account, I guess, but it's, you have to have like verified, not, not, I don't, I don't know about verified. I saw, I saw on the news. It's less anonymous than Grindr. Within the last year or so, I think. No, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was within, they, they released a feature where, You can have like a friend or family member who doesn't have access to the app. Like they don't have an account because, so for example, like if your sister were to come to town and she was going to go on a date and she wanted to share a link with you so that you could make sure that she wasn't being kidnapped, you could do that without having the app. So I'm wondering. Or if you just have an iPhone, you click share location. Yeah. You could do that with every phone at this point. Like. You can just use Google Maps. I never Apple. thought about doing it within an app. Like that actually kind of creeps me out having that. Well, yeah, because they me. have yeah, because yeah. they have access to that. But yeah, so but it, it shares the information about your date with your Oh, okay. Okay. Person. No, I can I that's very smart if you're a single person living in an area where you need your friends to keep Or an you eye don't want anybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. So, okay. The 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 intention is good. Yeah. I'm sure somebody will use it for bad, they're, though. They're selling the information yeah, for sure. for sure. <laughs> and, but the intention and who, is good. And now they know how to connect people on app to people off app. It's smart. It's a devious little plot. Devious little plot to get all those married guys off of Grindr and onto <laughs> Tinder, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so that they're... Wives will find out. Yeah. Jesus. So let's pull up. On the down low. So my expert, non-sniper, just a medic from the army. Yeah. Fully qualified to give this opinion. Mm -hmm. Is that the Secret Service fucked up? Mm -hmm. And that the director needs to be fucking let go. Okay. Period. Okay. They were making excuses. They didn't have enough manpower. They were Mm -hmm. doing this. All these law enforcement agencies, especially federal, Mm -hmm. they always work with partner agencies when they go somewhere. So if you don't have the fucking manpower to secure a goddamn farm with the sheriff's department, state police, state troopers, whichever they have in that state, and then local PD, you move the fucking venue. Mm -hmm. It's too easy. And this shit's coordinated so far in advance. It's not like they popped it up. On Friday and said, we're going to be here. We need your guys to come in. So, yeah, it's completely bullshit. Um, Do you think it was an intentional fuck up? Possibly, yeah, of course. Because isn't that the conspiracy theory going around? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was getting to with the whole ladder situation. Where they were saying that they went up there to look and they didn't see anybody. And then, oh, they left the ladder. Whoops. Yep. Um... Trying to find the the best memes here again. Okay. Did you see the the video of the female agent when they're like the next? I time told s- you I didn't click on any videos. Okay. I didn't watch any videos pertaining to any of it. So there's one woman when they're putting him in the vehicle. Okay. That clearly probably just completed training or hasn't even completed training. Okay. And is probably a DEI hire. Okay. And was flagging everyone. Flagging is when your barrel traverses across somebody's body and couldn't holster it, didn't know what she was doing. And the morons in the view were praising her. For what? Trigger discipline, but they called it finger discipline. (laughs) She didn't have her finger in the trigger well, so it didn't matter. I could be pointing it right at your face. Doesn't matter. My finger wasn't in the trigger well. I don't want a gun pointed me whether your finger is on the trigger or not. Yeah. Okay. I love this one, the Pepe. 
Okay. Oh, did you hear? Did Oh, my God. Okay. So I saw this part, and that's what I thought it was going to be. Did you hear somebody did in uh, a cover? I don't know if it was AI or if they're doing an impersonation voice. They they dubbed over 50 Cent's song, Many Men, or Many, yeah, Many Men. No. The So it's Many Men Wish Death Upon Me, blah, blah, blah. No. I didn't hear anything <laughs> about this. It's the, they, they dubbed the entire song with Trump's voice. It is hilarious. Then it's definitely AI for it, sure. No, because there are there are people that can do really good impressions. Okay. It could be it could that could honestly go either way. Like you could sample enough of my voice that you could dub it over with AI, like personally, or you could just have my, my name t- is Andrew. Yeah, you could just. Can have, you guys believe me that my name is Andrew? You could just have my terrible voice. Uh, uh. I can't get down that low. Yes, you can. There's a button on here that I can do. <laughs> it's on the... Are we on the right one? Hold on. Are we on page one or page two? It's on one of those. One of those top six. Is uh, That's like when he's trying to find my clit. One of the top six? Sure. You have six of them? No. You're like, <laughs> I don't even know what page I'm on. <laughs> You're saying you have that many pages, flaps? You're kind of digging your own hole here. <laughs> Can you even find the hole? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to check the time. Where are we at? 26. All right. Oh. No, the only song that I heard that came out recently was Eminem digging Diddy's grave, calling him an R A P E R instead of a R A P P E R. I don't know. I don't listen to Eminem. He's fucking weird. The last time I cared about anything that Eminem did was when he went to the Michigan game, clearly high as fuck, <laughs> was standing in the... So that would have been over 15 years ago because I'm pretty sure he's been sober for like... No. It happened just like within the last five to 10 years. No, he's been sober for quite a no, while. No, no. If I show you the video on the picture... Okay, pull up how long Eminem has been sober no, for. No, I don't care how long he says he's been sober. <laughs> He was not sober. Okay, show me this video because I have no idea what you're talking about. Michigan football. I should zoom in. I felt smart. So, yeah. Let's Need to introduce perfect. Marshall Mather. Some of you may. Hold on. Now let me turn this off. So look at his face. Uh huh. Yeah, he's definitely tripping out on something. Yeah. This uh, is like 2012, what? I believe, because that's it's Michigan Notre Dame. So I'm pretty sure this is 2012. That's 10 years ago underneath there, but that's obviously when it's the, posted. Yeah, I want to know an actual date. Berserk. Yeah. That's their the person's trying to brand their. Oh. Video. Oh, but look at him. Just yeah, that. yeah, yeah. He's like out on space. Yeah. And that's how he was like the entire fucking time. All right, now type on, type in. I want to know like how long he claims he's been sober for. Nobody cares. I could swear it's been like right after Eight Mile or something. I don't know. How long has Eminem been rapping? Single in the music industry, been married, been performing, been a Lions fan in the rap game, working on Houdini. (laughs) What? I don't know. Been sober. He says 2008. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. I thought, it, I thought it was before 2010, for sure. Actually, so, okay. So, the last two things that I've cared about Eminem was that, because I watched that game. Okay. And his performance in the interview. The North Korea, yeah, whatchamacallit. I don't remember he was him being there, in there. He was sitting there, and he's like, I'm gay. And they're like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the interview at the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm... He was like an intro character, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but it says sober from drugs. It doesn't say anything about alcohol. Mm. That's literally what it said. <gasps> I'll move to the other screen. Why did I move to the other screen? I believe he claims he's sober from both, but no, I don't it know. Literally, that. it quoted his from the interview from XXL magazine. It said, oh. Okay. But. Not my chair, not my problem. That's I what know. I say. Back to the... But yeah, he looked like he was tripping balls, for he, sure. Because he was. <laughs> His mouth was open, like, yeah. swaying back and forth. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he was like, these headphones feel so good. The noises in my ears feel so good. You sound like you're talking for the dog again. Talking for the dog? Yeah. The way yeah. you talk for Bella? I was, I was being Eminem's voice in his head while he was tripping out with the headphones on the Michigan game. <laughs> his voice in his head is probably bipolar. That's literally his entire stick is that Eminem, Marshall Mathers, they're two different people. Oh, uh, he like, well, Slim Shady. He officially killed off Slim Shady. Right, but uh, that, yeah. I don't know. This is all secondhand information. We're, we're, we're clearly experts here. Mm-hmm. Now I can't find the, I should have saved all the good ones I wanted. I thought, thought if I just went on Reddit, I could type in Trump meme. And all the gold mine would be there, but no, it's all these weirdos. Uh, everybody who's on Reddit is a weirdo, Andrew. That's true, but that's true. He says, "Yep." He verified he is a weirdo. Thank you. I mean, the podcast is on Reddit, therefore you are on Reddit. But I personally am not physically on on Reddit. Yeah. Protect your family from the from the government. Get Slope One Thousand today. One eight hundred Slope Me. That's just so funny. Sloop me. Yeah. But man, I really wish I, I really wish I would have saved more of them. Did I send you the beneficiaries thing? I don't know. I was working. No. I wasn't looking at your text. So this that's the agent right there. But who's the dude? I recognize him. He's the uh Is he like a Disney character? No, it's like not Zach Galifianakis, but like the other one that's like younger. Like the same kind of typecasted, goofy, dumb character that's like always like bumbling through things. Yeah, he looks like a Disney Channel character. Sure. Of course, I don't know what I did with the rest of them, but I don't yeah. know either. The memes were funny. The memes were have been hilarious. You guys are welcome Both. to uh, find perfect memes and send them to us. Yeah, send them to us. Because Andrew loves some good memes. Of course I do. Just don't put your own dicks in the memes, please. He doesn't want to see that. <laughs> you know that that's how you get people to do it, so good job. What? Yeah, you never say that because now that's all they're going to post. <laughs> Dumb move. Rookie. <laughs> Rookie. See, I don't know any of this shit. Yeah, you never, ever, ever say that. <laughs> You guys believe this shit? See, uncultured. <laughs> uncultured. Facts. Uncultured yep. indeed. Facts. Can I get this to move? Come on, motherfucker. There we go. So I can go back to full screen. I don't know why it snapped to the other screen. We got all kinds of new equipment, guys. If you didn't, if you haven't seen. Yes. Actually, I haven't he, posted anywhere. He bought a ton of yeah. stuff. We've got our new roadcaster deck up here that the microphones are connected into with XLR now rather than USB to the PC and our headphones connected there so we can monitor sound and do sound checks. They were always connected to our microphones before they have the option of doing either or we can do USB or XLR. Um, yeah. So now we've got that got a little whole touchscreen thing. I'm still using this to remote in because we use OBS to record. And that can't record video. I'm sure I can probably set like a hotkey on there that can trigger it. But I still like being able to see this and type stuff and pull stuff up and see what we're looking like without having to look over there at the other monitor. Maybe one day we'll get a monitor that we'll put right behind the camera so we can just look at the camera naturally. Which is what I said that I need because I have a terrible time remembering to actually look at the camera. And I always look at you because you're the one it's talking. Okay. It's okay. It's unnecessary. These people just want to gripe and complain about something. I love the comments on um, <clears throat> on Facebook, actually. Uh, well, and some of the comments on on uh, YouTube previously on like the Glover videos. <laughs> there was one uh, a guy I can't even remember. It was like some random numbers. Basically, he was like, "Oh, typical, typical shitbag podcast." Wife got ran through, settles with guy with beard. <laughs> no, 
You should see the comments. <laughs> Don't tell you I about most of them. But. do not want to see those comments. Yeah. But thank you very much for letting me know that... It makes me People laugh. People think that I got ran through. It's not about what they think. It's that they're so butthurt and jealous. Wow. Yeah. Um, we'll jump back into it in a second, but really quickly, we'll talk about the uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We didn't hit it How on the close? 15th. How close are we to It that? was like 9.06 or something like that. So I extended it to the 22nd. Okay. So you have until Monday. midnight. Is that when Monday is? Well, Charlotte's birthday falls on a Wednesday. What day is today? Today is the 17th. Okay. So sure. So Monday. Midnight, Monday. So this is your second to last warning. Second to last warning. Because Monday's episode, we'll probably talk about it. But it ends. Monday night. Oh, duh. We have to record Monday's episode. Oh, yeah. Whoops, my bad. So now that we skirted around, other than me giving my expert take, Mm -hmm. what do you think? Do you think Iran? Do you think North Korea? Do you think just a cross my mind? Do you think just a a dumb kid who lucked his way up onto a roof? I remember what the I quote was. I Zach, haven't Zach, speculated actually. So I remember what Zach posted now. Okay, it what? was the it was the FBI's normal thing. He's been on our radar, which everybody turned into that Bart Simpson meme, where it's like, say the thing. It's like your like catchphrase essentially, to make fun of him. Okay. So, the FBI now is Bart Simpson. Everybody in the classroom is pointing and laughing at him. And Bart's saying, he was on our radar. Okay. Yeah. That, so they're saying that they knew. Mm-hmm. They're talking about like purchases that he, they, they have him purchasing a fucking ladder. It was a five foot ladder though. So no idea what he planned on doing with that. <laughs> but still, yeah, that's like four foot, I think. <laughs> Ironically. And if you look back in our videos, it, we haven't just put that in there for this video. It's just been there. It's been an ongoing inside joke with my friends on Facebook and my wife. And the latter has its own adventures. And they say I have to come back to Facebook, but only if I know how to properly use the latter. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of funny. I should have put it. If I would have been thinking about it, if I would have had the foresight, I could have put it right here. We could have like printed off a picture of Trump. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. Yeah. So, check the links in our description. Mm-hmm. Visit nonaphelps.com. Buy insurance. Buy insurance. Visit leemaxmedia.com. Just click the links. The transcript's going to be wrong. You're reading the transcript. Just click the link in the description. You don't need to know how to type it or spell it. Just go down there. I don't like correcting the transcript because it takes too long. Okay. You should be happy that there is a transcript. <laughs> there would not be if it weren't for software. Um, that's it. This was kind of a weird episode because we didn't do anything that I actually wanted to do as far as memes. That was my, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk about the memes. You didn't have them up and ready. No, I didn't. So that's your own fault. It is my fault. So, what's this one? (laughs) Perfection. (laughs) Perfection. All right. That's it for us. We will see you on Monday. Bye. Goodbye.